The child you're seeing in this video is having cerebral palsy. <laughs> And this is a group of conditions that affect the movement, the posture, the speech, most things that have to do with the baby. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the causes, the signs that will indicate a child is having cerebral palsy, and what you can do to prevent giving birth or having a child with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is caused by damage that occurs to a developing brain, most especially before birth. And this gives the symptoms of having stiff muscles, lack of balance and muscle coordination, trouble walking, delay in speech development, trouble speaking, trouble with swallowing, learning disabilities, intellectual disabilities, delayed growth resulting in smaller size than expected. And children with cerebral palsy can be diagnosed with epilepsy and they mostly have bowel or bladder issues, that is, inability to control when the pool or urinate. So if this is not treated aggressively, it might become worsening as the baby gets older. I will be telling you the major causes of giving birth to a child with cerebral palsy. So take note of this, that cerebral palsy occurs as a result of when the brain is not developing well or when there is damage to a developing brain. And these are the things that can put a child at risk of coming out with cerebral palsy. Number one is when the pregnant woman has infection like syphilis, epis. Number two is when the pregnant woman has stroke, which interrupts the supply of blood to the developing baby. Number three is when there is bleeding into the brain of the baby in the womb or at the time of death. Number four is when the baby in the womb has infection causing swelling in or around the brain. Number five is when the child has traumatic head injury which can be from motor accident, from fall or a trauma. And number six is when the baby lacks oxygen during hard labor or delivery. That is why it's important for babies to cry immediately after birth. Also, babies that are born with weight that is less than 2.5 kilograms has higher risk of developing cerebral palsy. I know you would like to ask that what are the things you can do to prevent giving birth to a child with cerebral palsy or prevent your child from developing cerebral palsy after birth. And these are the things you can do. And the first thing is to take care of yourself during pregnancy. Because the earlier you are during pregnancy, that shows that you are not, not having infection. And this will reduce the risk of giving birth to a child with cerebral palsy. The most important thing, avoid tobacco, alcohol, illegal drugs. Because pregnant women that take all these things are at greater risk of giving birth to a child with cerebral palsy. And take note of this, that cerebral palsy does not happen only in children that are newly born. It can also happen as the baby is growing up. Because cerebral palsy is when there is a damage to a developing brain or when the brain is not properly developed. So you have to avoid anything that can cause trauma to your baby. Avoid falls. Don't allow your baby to fall. Don't shake your baby. Don't throw your baby in the air. Avoid anything that can cause trauma to your baby's brain. I believe you find this video very helpful and I would appreciate if you can share this video so that this can be an eye opener for everyone, most pregnant women, because giving birth to a child with cerebral palsy can be so traumatic. Please let me say that in the comment section what you feel about this video. This is your nose, nose, in me to be. See you in my next video. Thank you.